I need to find some of need to find a spar. Yeah, you do. You do. Because they're quite expensive online. If I remember right, Little Box was like seven quid off Amazon or something. Uh, let me flip you around, folks. Oh, we've got 13 watching now. Silly sausage. Look away if you, if you get the dizzy easy. Oh, that's better. Right, let me find the video on my other device. Do, 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 do. Feel absolute lawful, but still smiling. Or trying to. Um, right, here it is alive. Let me turn it down. Who else is here? Ali's here. Hello, Ali. Ali, Ian, Gemma, Jackie. That is just wonderful. That is awesome. Right, okay. So, these are really easy to make. So I used quite a few different products for this. Um, I used um, Cottage cottage Roads for this, which is gorgeous. I used um, layering leaves with the matching punch as well. So, and then the countryside um, papers. So, let's do this. Now, I will keep that out because I didn't write down measurements or anything. I just made it up as I went. Uh, Ian says that um, his device is in airplane mode too. Yeah, do not disturb seems to be broken on my phone as well. He said, do not disturb. Don't allow any calls. And then it tells lies and it lets calls through. And then that always pauses your life, you see. Uh, I'm just going to take another wee squish of my inhaler. Nice. Oh, that's good. Right. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy project. Right, let's get some of these ink colours out first. Um, we have got Night of Navy. I love crushed crates. I love it. I just love it. Um, we've got Garden Green, Old Olive. Okay, so that's... They're nice. But I'm going to be using... The little floral thing here and the little heart so we need um fresh freezer bubble bath it is and petal pink and coastal cabana coral i uh, coastal Cab no cor calypso coral <laughs> oh dear i'm just making stuff up now right that's fine Awesome. So that could be the florals. So I'll just set all those to the side. Hi, Angela. Thanks for popping on. You've not used crushed curry in a while. Oh. Right, how am I going to do this? Will I cut it this way or that way? You know what? I'm not going to overthink it. So basically, you need a piece of um, DSP or, 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 or. Um, card stock that measures 6 by 12 so you're going to get two of these um, little pocket envelope card type things out of the one sheet right so what we need to do is we need to score it at 4 and at 8 so this is going to be this is going to be um, a 4 by 6 size, so it fits in a C6 envelope. Okay, so we just want to... Don't put your trimmer away yet. Don't get the squeaky, squeaky, squeaky voice. Right, so we're just folding it like so. What we want to do is cut this down here, and then this one down there. So, be careful and make sure... What you want to do is you want to line up the crease, the tip of the crease on that cut and guide section and also the uh, very corner like so Ta -da! that's what we want to do we want to repeat another side but you cut it the opposite way so it's really easy we are meant to be going to 10 pin bowling later Oh, I really hope I start to feel a little bit better. Or I may not be going. For one of our friends' birthdays and the kids are coming with us, so we will see. 
Right, now you can see clearly here, let's see, let's fold and burnish it first. You can see that the, it's quite a contrast with that inside piece. And I'm just going to marry up the edges and then score it because I want to make sure that it's all fitting nice. Angela's back in the land of the living. Um, oh, until the, the next health issue. Oh, bless. Oh, it's never ending, isn't it? Hi, Vicky. Hi, for, thanks for popping on. Right, so I want to cover the inside of here. So I'm just going to use um, white cardstock. And because this is 4 by 6 I'm just going to cut it short, a smidgen short of 4 by 6 um, I really need to order more that thick cardstock. I don't need the white, basic white thick. I just need the basic white standard. The off cuts would make good tuck spots in a journal. They sure would. Don't chuck them away. I've still got the off cuts of the other project. Right, so... I'm just going to do this just short of four by six. So just like a eighth, half an, uh, sixteenth of an inch, sorry. And when we place that in, we want to make sure that we're covering what we need to cover. So I'm going to make sure it's stuck right up to the top of that. Perfect. Okay, so... Let's just add some stamp and seal. Morning, Val. Oops, I've just completely pung the lid away there. So if I just do that, we know that is secure. I'll just put a little bit here and there. Perfect, easy peasy. Let me get that lid before I lose it. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to glue each of these bits down and we just need a tiny little bit of wet glue <clears throat> I can't believe how miserable I feel with this woman virus or viral thing whatever it is right so just a tiny bit of glue so just press and hold now if you've got one of the big 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 blocks I'm just going to use that to give it some weight to, to hold it down. See me getting all sticky by constantly rubbing it. My goal is to try and not get covered in glue. My oldest son's just got up. I can't believe he's up at this time. Okay, then we repeat and then fold the other side down. Don't put it too close to the edge though because it may seep out. So let's just keep that there. I don't often use the largest block in our collection. I don't um, have a lot of like the full size background stamps. Morning, Kirsten, how are you? The Charlotte's parcel arrived today or yesterday. If not, it will probably be Monday now. Oh, dearie me. Right, I think that's that stuck. Nice. Nice, nice. Perfect. And we're going to make the section to pop in here. So we need to make sure that this hasn't stuck too much at the bottom. So let me take one of these just to make sure. No parcel yet, posties later on Saturdays. Our posty, see that's a good size. Our posty, um, it's only been around twice this week. I'm waiting on the business box subscription to come in. That's um, it's sent out on the 7th. And this is now, what, the 17th or something, or 18th. Morning, Ramona. How are you? Oh, have you got bugs as well? Oh, not nice. Right, let, let's measure up this. So, I just done it with white. Um, and layered on... A piece of night and navy and then white again but i think i'll go for a full color and then white on the top so if i pop this over here because the grid paper is brilliant for this this is five and three quarters by three and seven eighths so let me decide which color 
I think I'll do... I think I'll do... Um, crushed curry for the background. Oh, look, I've got lots of scraps. Is this crushed curry? Is this crushed curry? Is this crushed curry? Yeah, that's crushed curry. Right, so let's do this. It's always handy to keep your little scrappy pieces. No, that's not crushed curry. This is crushed curry, Trisha. Salad sausage. Right, now we need to cut down a piece. Yeah, I found the sickle tab punch. <laughs> I found it, I found it. It's a good thing to have. Right, so what did I see that measures? Five and three quarters in height by three and seven eighths. So let's do the three and seven eighths first. By five and three quarters. Perfect. Now I am going to grab my little punch and I'm going to do a tab just now. Stick it down before I put that matte layer on the top. These are like hot uh, gold dust trying to buy them. There was someone actually selling it, one of these or the other one for like £100 and I thought that is just daylight robbery. I know everybody's up for making making a little bit of money on selling goods, but that five times the retail price, I thought, oh, somebody's been very greedy. Right, so I want to stick this on my little card base mat. So I'm just going to stick it in the middle. I think that's about the middle. Smashing. Line it up. Fabulous. We'll just set a block on that now. We need a white matte layer for on top. Hi, Linda. Oh, did you see that as well, Kirsten? Right, so we need a quarter of an inch. So this is going to be three and five eighths. So I want to see that nice yellow. Three and five eighths by five and a half. And that is going to go in there. Perfect. Right. Let me stick this down. The old wheel tab punch goes for silly money. Oh, you've got a shape like it on your scanning cut. That's good. That's good. I've got other um, non-branded dies for... Um, tabs and things like that but I don't usually I don't film with them obviously because they're not stamping up but I do use them in my personal crafting at times especially if I'm sitting making a journal or something Val says must look for mine I don't get rid of my punches brilliant right so here we go that goes in there like so could almost use this design to make a shirt card or a little blouse. You could put some frilly ribbon around here, um, a wee necklace on there or something, and some buttons. That would look super pretty as well. Now, I think I'm going to actually use this as a little tuck spot because I think um, I want to make this a... Let me just cut it random. I want to make a little tuck spot for a gift card. So you can pop your gift card in there, it will be covered up. So let me just put the tiniest little bit of glue. Ian's saying that his punch box collection is huge. Yeah, I've got all the active punches in view. Um, the idea of a shirt um, for Father's Day would be good. Yep, it sure would. And you can use these off cuts to make the little um, shirt collar kind of thing on there. You could even 
do like a sailor's type um, shirt as well. Right, I've just popped that on there. Um, what I need to do quickly is find a card. So this is my bank card. So just imagine that is a little gift card and you would pop it in there. So this bank card, um, I'm waiting on a replacement because I ran it over. Remember, I lost it and then I found it in my driveway. So there's a dent there and there's a dent in the chip. So I can't actually get cash out. The switch um, contactless works. Um, but it doesn't work in the machine. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Oh, you're all right, honey. Hopefully you got a long lie. So a little um, spot there for a gift card. Right, so I'm just going to pop that there. We're going to do some stamping now. So use the off-cut piece from your mat layer there. Right, this is where I have to move things out of the way so I don't get ink all over them. What's everyone... Oh, that's the wrong way to do it, Trisha. We're making an envelope... Um, An envelope style uh, card. Is it an envelope style, did I say? A pocket card, sorry. It's a pocket card. So there's a pocket and then your card comes out. It doesn't stand up, obviously, but it's more for gift giving than anything else. So, Right, let me pop them out of the way. Guys, I still haven't um, used this yet, but I will. Morning, Jean. Trying to set yourself up to go out for a few drinks. Oh, bless. I'm still floored with this viral thing in my chest. And we're meant to be going to play 10 pin bowling later. And I just, just can't face it. <laughs> right, so. Here is the Harris for surprises. Now, what I thought about doing is um, stamping this in one of the lighter colours and then stamping in a darker colour with a sentiment over the top. So let me see. I might change my mind as we go. And then I'm definitely going to use this gorgeous flower, which is really easy to fussy cut out because of kind of like the jagged edges that it has. Right, well look. So if I use... Ooh, I think I'll use crushed curry. <laughs> what the hang? What the hang? It's another lovely project. Oh, thank you. Yep, I hope everybody is well. I think I'll use bubble bath, actually. Don't, I've not used that often enough so far. So, let's um, ink this up. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, wow, there's 16 wonderful people watching. Yes, I like that. I like that. So we're going to stamp on top. Um, which seems a shame because those um, flowers are really pretty, but... Um, do, 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 do. What will I do? Um, what decisions, decisions. Let's just see. Sending you lots of love. Um, hope your I think I'll do hope your birthday is wonderful. And that was Misty Moonlight that I pulled out. No, Night of Navy. It's Night of Navy I want for stamping. Right, okay, let's get a little block. A little block. Just do that. Right, so. Let me just stamp on top. I might not like it. I might decide to stamp it separate. Oh, no, that's nice. I do like it, I do like it. I do like it. You can still see the image in the background, so that's nice. 
I do like that. Right, so let me clean off my blocks first. Mm -hmm. So I'm finished with those. You can, of course, sample the inside of your um, pull-out section as well. Um, I might put a, a wee sentiment somewhere. Um, I will see. Right, I'm going to put that to the side so it doesn't get all ruined when I get ink everywhere. Is anybody doing anything nice today? Or are we just all shattered and poorly and feeling yuck in general? I would suggest going and... Um, have a little play in your craft room. Right, so let's cut this out. Scissors, scissors. Now I do have the dies for this, but I'm sitting comfortably, so I don't really want to get up and do any die cutting. But I will show you the dies which are here. So lots of different things. Here's the one for the flower. We've got these bits too. These are really good because it's like a tear effect and it's a peel up um, sections. It's a open here pull. Um, so it's a really fun set, folks. And you could get that in a bundle, obviously. Oh, do you keep losing sound? Is everybody else's sound okay? Maybe I'm just going radio silent too much, shall we? <laughs> Hi, Hazel. Facebook could be annoying sometimes. If, the, if you're having any issues and no one else is, I um, always suggest popping out and then coming back in. It sounds good. Good here. Right, no problem. That must be your um, device, Ali, hon. Right, where did I put my card? Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Right, I do want to stamp flowers and have a play around with those. Now I'm going to go bold. And I'm going to do a Night of Navy flower. Let me get that in, in, the, in the screenshot. Uh, look how good that stamps. Love it. Um, what other colour should I do? I think I'll do... Ooh, I think I'll do garden green. Just to be really different. So, I'm closing all those inks because I do get them everywhere. Right, so... Is anyone else spending a fortune on heating bills just now? My little app say that I spent um, £9 on electric yesterday and £6 on gas. I'm like, hmm. Uh, electric isn't usually that high. Right, so... So we're just going to really pop that on there. We're going to do some like flourishes behind it and whatnot. And make it really, really pretty. I might even stamp the little um, birthday cake and stuff like that because it's quite adorable. And it's funny because there's actually... An, um, what's the blog hope? Inspire Ink um, blog hop that went live today that I scheduled weeks ago and it's using this very stamp set so check that out on my my page and um, my blog at smithscraftcreations.com Canon bought a oh hang on the price cap went up in January I don't know if that's going to probably Ian they're just greedy all over I see Canon bought a small halogen heater for when I work but Oh, the dogs do the plug off it. <laughs> oh, please. 
I know. It's hard to give them a row, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. I think Millie, the youngest dog, is coming in to heat soon because she's starting... She started acting odd again. Like, when I go out the room or I go out, she starts pinching the last thing I touched off the bunker, which is usually a uh, wipe cloth, because I always like to wipe my bunkers before I go out the house. Um, and then she takes it in her bed with her blesser. And she's uh, casting hair just now as well. Oh, there's DPD going to the neighbours. Not coming to mine, though, because I've not ordered anything. I am ordering Stampin' Up! goodies later, though. So, on the 5th of March, we have some beautiful new online exclusives. I think there's a total of 35 items um, coming to the market. So, I'm going to buy some of those and then showcase them to you because there's some gorgeous things there. Um, and yeah, so exciting. Don't forget those that love kits. There's two kits come out a month. So watch out for the flyers about those. So I'm excited to see what um, March kits are going to be. Ian loves fussy cut and I've sit a uh, lovely fussy cut and rather I've stick to dies and scan and cut. <laughs> I don't mind doing these flowers because it's just it's just like repeating the same kind of cut all round. Oh wow, look, that is just going to be beautiful. Right, so leave that to the left. Let's stab some more gorgeous little images. Really little tiny ones as well that you can kind of dot about. Uh, I'm going to do the cake. So I need the cake and I need the candle because I'll cut them out in the winter. Now you can have a flame or you can have an actual candle. Um, with the candle on one of my projects, instead of putting the flame at the top, I'll put the wee heart. So that's something different. Oh, Val's already putting an order and it's been shipped. That's great. That's great. Right, what colour should I do this little, um, this little cake? I think I'll maybe do Calypso Coral. Or let's do Fresh Freesia, actually. Fresh Freesia. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Right, Fresh Freesia there. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. And I need the candle. Oh, you're waiting on a, a metallic embossing powders. That's good. Um, let me do the candle a different colour. Let me do... Calypso Coral Candle. They're really good if um, they don't often make um, blips, but when they do, the sure as hang, fix them really swiftly, which is good. Right, um, okay, I'm just going to leave the candle as is. What I will do though, is I'm going to get a Stampin' Right marker and I'm going to get Knight of Navy. And see these little lines in here? I'm just going to infill them with Knight of Navy. So we've got some dots. So I'm just dotting there. I, I might regret this because I'm a bit wobbly today because I'm feeling rather weak. There, yeah, so I've just added some extra colour into that. Celebration items, guys. Remember, we've got a whole new array of freebies. So when I order my own order today, I'm going to go for the £90 spend freebie of the Stampin' Right markers for all the um, the new kind of core colours when we've got our colour refresh. I've been meaning to buy them. So I'm glad I didn't because now I can get them for free because I'm going to be spending more than £90 anyway on myself, so... Not on myself, on my business, rather. So that is a big money saver, that one. There's punches, etc. as well. Right. 
And this is wonky fussy cutting. Anything with a wobble is not going to go well today because my hands are wobbling the other way. <laughs> Ramona seems so cool. Oh, morning, Val. I've got the little heater on at the minute. I'm going to actually. No, I'm not going to turn it off because I just feel chilled to the bones today. Oh, no worries, Karen. Enjoy your day. Thanks for popping on, honey. Thank you so much. Oh, look, that's nice. That's nice. But you know what? I don't think that's bold enough. I'm going to see what stamps like in cursed curry. And you know what? We can change our minds. It's absolutely fine. I'll keep that little cake for another project, but... Yeah, I'm going to go for crushed curry cake and then I'll cut out again. Nice, nice, nice. Right, and I'm going to do a blue candle on it. Trish is winging it just a little bit. Yes, I'm winging it. I won't, won't change my day job, though. <laughs> my singing's terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. Well, kind of. ta -da. Love it, love it. Whoops. How sweet that Hazel catches up with her mum sometimes on this live. That is just adorable, you pair. Just super cute. Super, super cute. Right, let's start this again. Sorry if you find fussy cutting boring. I'll just be, I'll be as quick as I can. Mm -hmm. If in doubt, just keep going. Wobble your paper rather than your scissors. I used to um, cut a lot out on the my scanning cut machine. But it got to the point where it, it just misses out a lot of the images and it just frustrates me because I then need to go back and cut them out anyway. I really need to um, have another try. Oh, yeah, of course you catch up with it at other times, but it's just so sweet, I mean, that you come on here as well. I know, you see a lot of your mama, don't you, hun? Mama bear. Right, I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals. Oh, I finished that sheet, that's good. Anyone that orders with me between, I think it was yesterday or the day before and the end of the month is going to get a free pack of dimensionals sent to them with their thank you packs. But it doesn't need to be £45 spend because then you're going to get your freebie anyway. Right, let's um, pop all these up. Oh, these are just beautiful. Beautiful. Cheryl finds it therapeutic watching and doing it. Oh, brilliant. I'm, I'm missing your videos, lovely. Have you had any more up? I've maybe missed or something. I love your card making. It's like your little mini mystery stamping. Right, let's pop this one. here. Now I want to make sure I'm not overlapping too much so this one might actually be better going slightly under. Yeah that'll do. I'll pop that one. Oh it helps if I take the back again. Would you mind making my coffee down? Right. Well this boy's going to make my cuppa. Right I'll pop that up there. It's very nice. I'm going to put the little cake here. Looking good. <laughs> Not yet, Cheryl, Amanda saying. Oh, no worries, lovely. Right, let me just pop it here. Isn't that nice? Whoops. Watch that you don't actually stick your foam.
to, I'm just going to cut that off, that you don't stick it onto your actual project, uh, your um, pull-out pocket, folks. Right, there we go. I'll just remove that with my little eraser. It should come off. There we go. Easy done. I'm back. Plans changed. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, you know what I've done? I've added on the wrong um, birthday cake. But you know what? That's fine. I'll just use both of them. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I think that looks nice with two cakes, doesn't it? Oh, that's grand. My son's going to make my wee cuppa. Right, I need some Wink of Stella. And... I'm just going to add some on the candles. Be careful because these are water-based inks, it, it will drag the um, colour out somewhat. So just be careful. I do try to do the lighter colours first, just in case any of the ink transfers, but I do like that. Right. I do remember, we need to now stamp, pull on our little pool pocket. Pool, pool, pool. Um, I'm going to really love using this open here one. This will be nice on the um, edges of boxes. You know, if you do a half circle, you can stamp open and then here underneath it, depends on the width of your thumb notch. Um, so yeah, right, okay. I'm going to stamp this in garden green. I need this pen too. Oh, they're amazing. They really are. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, wash that off. Oops, let's get that back in the little holder. There's so many gorgeous sentiments and what have you in this, this set. Really, really good. I like the font as well. So it's pool. Then inside you will have your little gift card. Or you can even put a little matted um, photo or something. Or... Um, I know what I could do actually because I make, I make, um, I like to make motivational cards for the ladies in my team. So I've done all these myself. So you could put some motivational cards in there. Good things come my way. You could do anything you like. Just bear in mind the height of whatever you're popping in because if you don't want it to stick out, if you want it to be completely hidden, then it can't really come over this bit in height. So, so that's nice. Right, let me see what time we're at. Oh, 10 to 11. That's really good. That's going on, taking um, a little longer than I expected it would, which is absolutely fine. So, yeah, that is our project today. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything, or is anyone looking to um, order anything? Just send me a little message, guys. Uh, fresh food. I'm just trying to put these inks away as we're chatting. Um, now, our joining off of the night was amazing. Before we know it, February is going to be over, and then we'll resort back to our normal offering of £130 off the goods for 99 but for from now through February you can get the glass mat studio for free which is worth over 50 odd pounds or if you don't want the glass mat studio you can get another £30 on top of the £31 free spend so it's a no-brainer really good value for money Unfortunately, I um, haven't ordered the glass mat because I like I don't like to work with glass with glass mats. Um, this is really nice, especially if you like 
um, mixed media and doing inky projects and stuff like that. Oh, hang on. Right, tap out. Thanks. Um, I'm on the live, pal. Um, sorry, my son was asking me a question there. He knocked me for six. What was I saying? Yeah, I don't do as much ink blending and things like that, so... Um, I can't justify buying it for myself as a demo, just to pop it to the side. But it really is good for those that like to get inky and messy and what have you. It's a really, really good glass mat. So, yeah. Um, don't forget, folks. I have my giveaway on the page, which is the... Gorgeous little um, card kit. Where is mine? Oh, here it's here. I'm giving away one of these this month. Painted Wishes kit. Free to enter. It's not available to fellow demos, I'm afraid, as you can get your own at a good price anyway. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's good. Free to enter. See my pinned post on my business page. And we have February's Crafty Stamping Club Group Challenge. I might just um, have my coffee and a wee ciggy and come back and work on this. This is February's Challenge. The prompt pastel shades, and it's kind of like off shapes of um, squares and rectangles with decoration. And it's just as a guide. Um, just take this and make whatever your little heart desires. And the last bit is... If you're ordering between now and the next few hours, this is the hostess code to use. Um, if you're putting your order through myself, through private message, um, you'll still gain rewards, etc. like I do everybody else. I just share out all the rewards of everyone that's ordered. So, um, and don't forget there is an extra pack of dimensionals on offer for you. Free me from me. Oh, yes, Barbara, your uh, your project was absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, so that's good. Um, Ian saying perennial postage dies are ideal for that challenge. They sure are, honey, they sure are. Um, and if you don't have the dies, you can just fussy cut by hand. Um, but I might take your suggestion and try that. In fact, I don't have the perennial postage dies. I've got the stamp set, but I've not got the dies, actually. But I do have other ones. I do have other um, dies that I can use, I think. Um, let's see. It's worthwhile checking because um, sometimes in sets you get little additional ones. See, like this one, the mini pocket envelope. Look, there's a little square die in there. Well, just it's just slightly rectangular, actually. Um, look at that sentiment silhouettes that would be good for adding extra detail to this one uh, let's see do, 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 do. got so much that I need to actually use what else have I got yeah there's these as well everyday details dies these are quite funky because they die cut out little little circles and what have you and then I've got countryside corners I don't have an awful lot of dies I'm trying to be a wee bit more frugal um, what's everyone saying oh thank you everyone for your compliments that is lovely um, oh yeah do take part Hazel so anyone can enter the crafty stamping club challenge to win a wee handmade item or a little gift from myself um, each month and then there's the top contributor of the group as well the top three one of the names will be picked out at random to win a wee prize as well um and if you do receive a little prize I'll, I'll, if you could do me a favor and share it in the group folks just because sometimes i feel that um there's certain people don't believe i send this kind of stuff out even though i do it rigorously each month um, it's always nice just to kind of um, reiterate that people do actually receive the stuff that I send them. So that would be amazing. Um, yeah, so give this a little go. Um, if I hadn't done this project today, I probably wouldn't have touched that DSP pack in a few months. 
So, uh, yeah. Um, Ian has a dies with the match and stab sets. Um, so reminding them to use them, that's good. I've got the pity, I've got the stamp set. Don't ask me where it is. Um, so yeah, I have these are my latest stamps that I have to use. Um, everyday details, I've used that. I've used the Lex chart. I haven't used the Planted Paradise out of the mini. I've not used the Celebration one of this one yet, but I picked this specifically because I don't have a baby set. Um, I have used the um, Hybrid Embossing Folder, Thoughtful Moments, that is amazing too. Um, yeah, I wouldn't to use this with lots of deep greens and um, pretty peacock and things like that. So, um, And I've used this, which is good. Um, yeah, so all good. That is my little latest project, um, latest product stash. Um, what I'm also going to do coming up is I found this. Hi, Jeanette. I found this um, nine pocket um, sleeve. So I'm going to make a pocket letter. Um, basically make up little artist trading cards and put them inside or such like and add in wee goodies and things like that. So I'm going to use that as a personal kind of challenge to myself to use it. So I've left that lying out and then I might obviously gift it away as I usually do. So so does anybody have any questions about um, anything or are you all good to go? I will pop this up on YouTube in a wee bitty. Um, I also need to make sure that I go and run a roasting hot bath because I've been coughing that much that my back is absolutely in bits. Um, all the ribs around my back are sore and oh, I'm just falling to bits, folks. Right, well, if that is all, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your Saturday morning. And um, yeah, if anybody wants anything ordered, do message me within the next hour or so. Um, and I'll get that workshop order closed off and um, sorted. And then I can start a new code. Thank you, everyone. It's so pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, folks, I will go. Enjoy your day. And um, I'll speak very soon, guys. Love to you all. Bye.